Hello and welcome to a brand new video. Today we're speaking about Star Wars Battlefront. I played it at E3, also played the Alpha build, and I really like the game. I mean, it feels like a sort of basic version of Battlefield, but in the universe of Star Wars. First, I want to talk about the good stuff, though. The music. So the menus. So you go into the menus, the music pops in, it's just like, oh my god, I love Star Wars. Obviously, I love the original films. As a kid, I liked the sort of new ones as well, but that discussion is for another day. But anyway, so this is um, a mode I played. It's called Walker Assault. So you've got two AT ATs, or is that how you say it? I don't know. But anyway, basically the big, massive Walker things walk along, but they're actually on rails. You can't actually control them, otherwise it could get quite frustrating with like, with, like random people jumping in, going in circles, and just absolutely just ignoring the objective. So the things are actually on rails, so they go forward very, very slowly. It's pretty cool though, seeing them walk along. And I feel like the fact that in the background, in the background, you can see in the sky and stuff, stuff is changing depending on like how the battle's going. So you've got like perhaps the Imperial ships are blowing up, the Rebels are taking over and stuff, if the Rebels are doing well. It feels like you're like a small part in this massive open battle and a very small part of this like Star Wars universe, which is very, very exciting. So let's talk about the graphics for a little bit. The graphics are not like amazing. They're like, oh my God, the, my jaws dropped off. It's not like Uncharted or anything like that. It, it, it feels good though, it feels solid. The PC version looks very, very sharp. The PS4 version looks sharp as well. Obviously not as good. Yeah, just to let you know, I did play the, the PC version as the alpha and the PS4 version at E3. And they both feel pretty good. They both, they both feel solid. The FPS was pretty good. But the particle effects, the sound, just little touches are just so good. Like the, the snow. and It just it is just, done really, really well. Dice are doing a great job. So everyone jumps into the game as a foot trooper. It's not like vehicles waiting for you or anything like that. It's just jump in, run straight towards the objective, pick up tokens on the way. Tokens give you access to the vehicles. These vehicles include the TIE Fighter, the X-Wing, the Snow Speeder, and also the ATST. The ATST is a very weak vehicle. I jumped into it as like thinking, oh my god, this is so awesome, like plodding around in my little walker thing next to like the massive AT-ATs. I was like, I feel awesome. And then all of a sudden a rocket went bang right into me and exploded straight away. So that sort of sucks. It's a very, very weak thing. You can walk around and get shot by anything and the, the health just goes down so quickly. But you can do a lot of damage. So move around correctly and stuff and sort of hide between the hills and, stuff and just try and be careful. I guess you can make it work, but generally the vehicle is very, very weak. So the snow speeders are so important to the rebels attack. The rebels rely on these so much because those massive walker things need to be stopped. Otherwise they would just cause massive amounts of destruction all over the place. So what you do is attach a rope when it gets weak and you can sort of attach a rope and go round and round in circles like you see in the movies. And I could probably see in the gameplay at the moment goes around and takes down the walker. It just goes Psh! But basically it's like a little mini game. So it's like a little bar that pops up on the sort of medium left and you've got to try and keep in that bar like right in the middle. If it goes too up or too down, it will just detach and you fail basically. So yeah, it's quite important you do that. And if you nail it, it comes tumbling down and you get lots of XP on points. And obviously it's very important towards the whole match and victory. Very, very important indeed. One of my favorite vehicles in Star Wars is the X-Wing. I got to pilot it and it's so freaking awesome. I just love the X-Wing so much. Basically every flying vehicle has like a boost. Also has like a lock on missile. And also has like their main gun, which is like a laser sword machine gun thingy. And yeah, that's pretty much how all the flying vehicles seem to function. So as a foot trooper, you get a, a jump pack. So you can press it, enable it, and just jump really, really high. It does slowly replenish as well. You actually jump really, really high. Like really helps you get out of like situations and stuff. But it does leave you like exposed in the air. Like you, you do float for a while almost. Um, also you have a grenade launcher thing, which is like a... You sort of fire it off a little bit. It's like a grenade launcher and fires like five separate grenades in like different directions. It does sound quite OP, but it's not really that bad. It does a little bit of damage, but it doesn't like just kill them outright, unless it lands like right next to them. Also, as a foot trooper, you can pick up different tokens. So one's called a bubble shield, which actually reminds me of Halo 3, where you get that bubble shield sort of pops up, protects you from like oncoming blasts and grenades and stuff. Actually works really well. Uh, during like a heavy battle, just throw one down and it sort of protects you for like a certain period of time. Obviously you can protect your teammates as well. Also you can pick up a rocket launcher. I tend to use this against like the massive walker walking towards me, because it's a little bit scary. Or just aim it towards those ATST things, because it does so much damage against them, it just wrecks them very, very quickly. And um, that's very useful. So you're probably wondering, what does it feel like to be in those massive ATAT things, those massive walkers walking right towards you? It's pretty cool. You can take down so many enemies it's, it's it's crazy so what happens is you sort of have like a time limit and it just slowly plummets over time if you do like a kill or something or kill like a certain amount of enemies the, the time will sort of just 
go down slower almost. So it's very useful. I just I just owned with this thing. Like I've done, I've done so many kills. I think it's a little bit overpowered. I know it sounds stupid, but I went on like a, a, a 25 kill streak with this thing. I mean, it's it's mental. So you've got three different gun types. One's for infantry. You can just gun them down like a machine gun, but it's like a very strong machine gun. Like constantly bang, 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 bang. It just, it, it's crazy. It's absolutely absurd. The next one is like an airstrike, like a mortar attack. It's like a blue circle come, which all comes on the map. And you go, whoop, psh, and it just causes like a massive amount of destruction. And everyone just dies in that circle, basically. Ah, we're burning. Um, also, you have like an anti-vehicle one as well, so that will take down aircrafts in the sky. And also, vehicles on the on the on the on the floor, <laughs> on the floor. What? On a very random side note, once you get the tokens for the aircrafts, which I'm guessing you guys want to do very very quickly, you press R1 and the L1, I think, or the or the, or the bumpers. You press them, activate it, and you sort of like jump into like, the aircraft like in mid-flight. You don't sort of jump into it like like a battlefield or something. You just jump into it, it's flying already, and you fly around, woo! And it, yeah, it's a lot of fun. So how does the game feel like overall? It feels a little bit unorganized, like no one really knows what's going on. There's no like squad system. You can squad up with like one person and that's it. So you have like one partner in crime and that is it for like 40, a 40 man match. is only You can only partner with one person, which is absurd. I think that's crazy. I'm hoping they do sort it out and perhaps have like a squad, a squad system in or some sort of like commander or something that sort of tells us what to do. Because at the moment, everyone's just sort of running around going, oh, I want to kill something. Or I want to jump in like an aircraft and kill something. And it's, it's a little bit a little bit intense. But the, the, the particle explosions, the music, the special effects, the, the graphics look so good. It feels like a proper like Star Wars game. I actually like the fact that it feels like a basic FPS. It feels like anyone can jump into this and just have fun which I like a lot. Even down to like the aircraft's controlling quite easily, you can just jump into it, use analog sticks and just like steer around and feel pretty good. It feels pretty good. And it feels very, very, very basic. Um, but also stuff like the guns have no clips. Like you don't have to like reload or pick up ammo. You have just a constant flow of ammo. Um, it does obviously overheat. You have to sort of like make sure you don't overheat the gun too much. And um, you've got to try and look after that and you can do like an active reload thing as well. But generally it just feels like a, a solid title. I'm very, very excited for it. It feels very bare bones at the moment, but I'm sure there'll be stuff they can sort of add in to make it feel a little bit more fleshed out. But once that comes into the game, I am very excited. But to me, so far, I think the maps feel quite small. They're not very expansive. They're very rectangular almost. So you've got the, got the, the walkers sort of walking down, and that takes up quite a, quite a bit of space already. Like, they're pretty big. <laughs> and that's that's pretty much it. It, feels, it just feels like there's not much there. There's a few little areas you can sort of go into, and you can sort of explore, like, the where the sort of X-Wings are being held up and stuff, but there's not a whole lot to sort of explore. It's just literally a very rectangular, it feels quite small, quite quite restrictive, to the point where you sort of just jump back straight into combat again, which is, I don't know, I want to sort of jump back a little bit and try and prepare myself for the battle ahead. Um, also the health system, uh, it seems like the guys in the game have like medium sort of health, I guess. It feels not too high, not too low, it takes a few headshots to kill someone, it feels good. It doesn't. You don't feel like you're, you're too weak, which can become very frustrating very, very quickly. Unfortunately, I never got to experience the heroes, which is like Luke Skywalker, Darth Vader, which is a bit disappointing. I guess it's quite rare. I'm not really sure. I didn't really see it in the battle either. I just, I just never saw it, which is a little bit annoying. But there we go. Um, also, they've announced a brand new mode called Blast. That's 10 versus 10 in a more smaller environment, which is awesome to hear. So that's more like Call of Duty or like a battlefield, I guess. But that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, let me know, hit the like button. And if you want to ask me any questions about the game, let me know in the comment section below. I'll try and answer as many as I can. Thank you for watching. Hit the like button. Check me out on Instagram and Twitter. And I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.